Welcome everybody. Today is the last day of our mini road trip and if you guys have been following along on this series you would have seen in our previous vlog that we took you guys to get some great views of Mount Taranaki but from a distance. Today we're getting much closer we're going to the base of the mountain itself. We are currently on our way to the North Egmont Visitor Center. Super excited <laughs> let's go. Man I'm so pumped for this being able to see the mountain like right up in front of you. Come here during winter. I've seen pictures where the whole mountain is just covered in white. Since we're here in first week of October, we're pretty lucky because we get to see classic mountain formation where you imagine like a mountain with a snowy peak and then the brown mountain bottom <laughs> as well. So beautiful. So inside the visitor center, you can find a lot of great information about the different walks and tracks. We are going to go do the Veronica loop. Is that right? Yeah, I think it's just a straight walk up and then coming back down after we've reached the platform. Yeah, because we're not going to do the full loop. <laughs> we just want to get a nice view. But there are much longer walks. There's one called the Poakai Circuit. Circuit and that one takes two, two to, to three, three days. days. So you've got to so stay overnight. Us, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, come inside the visitor center. There's heaps of great info to learn about Mount Taranaki. About four minutes up and you reach your first lookout. This is the viewing platform. It is super pretty. And like Peter was saying, we are here in the first week of October. So even though we've got a gorgeous sunny day, the air is pretty crisp. So I've got my hoodie <laughs> when I need it. <laughs> yeah, apparently uh, if you are wanting to climb the mountain, you can do that. But um, you need to be fairly seasoned to do it during the winter or spring months. Yeah. It's much easier in summer. Otherwise, you can do the nice walks around like what we're doing. Yes. <laughs> Our little friend is trailing behind. <laughs> I am a little tired, but my excuse is that we haven't had anything to eat yet today except for my regular up and go breakfast. <laughs> and it is starting to get a little bit of an incline. Made our way to a bit of a clearing again, just enjoying that little view over there and a little break I think. Yes, I needed a little break. I am quite fully out of breath now. So a couple of tips though, definitely sunscreen and probably a good idea to bring a bottle of water which we did not do that either. Okay, so I hope that little lookout wasn't the actual lookout. Yen thinks it might have been but I don't think it was. Yeah, well the place is really well signposted but it's saying the Ver Veronica loop track keeps going that way which I think means we're going to go all the way back around again. So, okay, let's just keep going and find out. So what do you think? Was that the lookout point? Well, we are standing there starting our descent now. So I think you might be right. It was either that little ledge or that little bridge. I am not 100% sure, <laughs> but since we're going downhill again, that yeah. means we're doing the full two hour loop because originally we were just going to go up and go back down. Yeah, we got stuck with a two hour walk, it's okay. Nice There's a lot day. of beautiful moss on the trees <laughs> and it's a nice day. So we have been on the descent for a little while now and we are headed back to the visitor center. Yeah, it was a pretty good views of Taranaki. It looked like because there were some low bearing clouds like a farm or city inside the sky. <laughs> Plus being able to look back into the massive Mount Taranaki was pretty epic too. That was some great views. With the actual walk though, you get some steps that are quite irregular. So you get ones that are really tall and maybe some narrow pathways as well. But it was still pretty manageable regardless. Yeah, you do have exposed tree roots along the way too. So just be a little careful, but otherwise it's a pretty easy walk. Jeez, so after a lot of decline, for some reason, there is an uphill again. <laughs> and a fair bit of it, so just be warned about that. I guess in the meantime, I'll give you guys a couple of facts about Mount Taranaki. It last erupted in 1854, and the volcano is a dormant volcano, but it's about 120,000 years old. Oh, thank goodness made it <laughs> we're back to that hut area where we were at the start oh my gosh that took quite a while it was and that unexpected uphill again oh man <laughs> <laughs> worked up quite an appetite now yeah let's go get some food we've 
looking for somewhere to eat. <laughs> we went to this place called Volcano View Restaurant, but unfortunately it closes at 1.30. Not the restaurant's fault, it's ours because we didn't plan our time accordingly. Now we're in Inglewood. One of the restaurants that we wanted to go to was closed, so closed. on Tuesdays. <laughs> it's 1.30 right now that I mentioned that. We're gonna find something. I think it's 2 o'clock now. Okay, we're gonna, yeah, we're... Oh, well, hopefully we'll find Peter something. can't talk anymore. <laughs> I'm losing the plot, guys. I need food. <laughs> Pass a whole bunch of shops that were closed or closing. Then we saw a subway and we're like, ah oh, yes, but then we found a sushi place. So we're gonna Woo go. Lifesaver, Jin a sushi. sushi. Success. <laughs> There's a couple of hot foods. They are like bagogi and chicken katsu and all that. Um, because we're here quite late, the cabinet's a bit empty now, but we'll get hot food anyway. Oh man, I'm so pumped to have this bagogi <laughs> beef bowl. I'm actually salivating from the smell of it. Even more excited. Okay, get some rice, get some veggie, get some beef. This looks life like the life-saving <laughs> bite right here. Satisfying. Thank you. Thank you for being open. Thank you for making delicious bulgogi beef. Very satisfying. Some sweet flavors, some salty flavors, exactly what you need after a two-hour morning track. <laughs> I got myself the chicken katsu. I like fried chicken that's boneless, so this is always perfect for me. It's got good lashings of mayo on it. Mmm! It's yum! <laughs> I think the mayo and the teriyaki sauce makes a really nice difference, but also the chicken is really good. And the crispy batter, yum! Ah! That was super satisfying and it was delicious. This shop is um, Su Jin's shop and they've only been open for about a year and a half, she was saying. Yeah. But yeah, so cool to find a good Japanese slash Korean <laughs> food <laughs> store here in Inglewood. Man, my stomach is full and ready for the next activity. Which is Dawson Falls? Dawson Falls. Let's head over there. Oh god, you won't believe what just happened. <laughs> so, I don't know, this must be an age thing or something, but uh, Yin and I arrived here and we were joking to each other about how we wanted we to, be good a nap. to take a nap right now. And somehow I fell asleep, and then Yin decided it was funny to take footage of me being asleep. And she was like, <laughs> I'm not gonna fall asleep, and guess who fell asleep as well? <laughs> I fell asleep too, but I kid you not, we got woken up by a strong gust of wind. It was like nature calling us. You're like, wake up guys, it's like 4.30 and you need to go to Dawson Falls already. So we are here at the Dawson Falls Visitor Center. Um, it's not open every day, so you just need to double check. I think it's something like closed from Sunday to Tuesdays. Not sure, we'll leave the details in the description below. Anyways, we are going to go do that short walk to the falls now. You know what? I reckon it was the two bagolgis that did it to you. Yeah. And then the Pari Tutu climb that did it to me the day before. Plus that two hour Veronica loop track. Can't believe we woke up at the exact same time with that wind. Yeah. Then you can hear the sound of the rushing river right next to you as you walk through here. When you come from the visitor center and you start walking down the road to get to the waterfall, there is one option that says eight minutes direct and another option that says 25 minutes if you go through like a loop walk. So I think Peter and I are a bit of a suckers for punishment and more stairs yep. because we decided to go do that one. And now we are at this junction point here where it is either two minutes to the lookout point or four minutes to the base of the waterfall. But we'll go to both and let you guys see that too. Here at the base of the waterfall we found this epic stone that you can sit on where you can do pictures where you're like praying and stuff. You know, just like the Kung Fu movie. I've reached a new level of enlightenment. Now I can fight the final boss. At the Dawson Falls lookout point, 
The Tereo name is Terere Onoke and the waterfall is 18 meters high. It's been a great day out exploring the Egmont National Park but right now we are headed over to our final accommodation before we go back to Auckland tomorrow. So Yen and I have a pretty unique accommodation for tonight before we head back over to Auckland. That's right, we are here in Elsland and we've got a self-contained studio that is on a magnificent piece of farmland. You can see heaps of cows. We got greeted by a very cute little puppy before as well, but she's she's wandered off now. Yeah, Yen is going to take us through the room that we've got for the evening. Yeah. And if you're interested in it, we'll leave all the details in the description. And it was $113 a night. Come in. So it is very nice and clean. It's also cozy too, which is great. We've got a heat pump as well in case it gets too cold, but it feels quite warm. So yeah. I'm not sure we even need it. We've got a very modern bathroom as well, which is super nice. And then our bed just down here. That's so cute. And we've got some little welcome chocolates. Yay. <laughs> We are going to wrap things off here because as you all know, Yen and I are getting a little bit sleepy already. That's what happens when you reach your mid-30s. You need naps in the car in between activities. So of all the things that we did on this road trip, what do you reckon was your favorite one then? Oh, that's tough because we don't get to see a lot of amazing places. But I think maybe the natural bridge for me, that was pretty epic. Yeah, that was awesome. And I would have to say Party to Do Rock for myself. Yeah, that was Because of the you know, mountain climbing kind of aspect. <laughs> Bit of it all. We also got to have so many great views like at Lake Mangamahoy. Yeah, seeing Mount Taranaki, you just don't get sick of that. It's an amazing mountain. <laughs> well, anyways, guys, if you have enjoyed following us along on this series or this episode, we hope you will give us those likes, subscribe if you haven't already, drop us a comment, love hearing from you, and also please do share our video as well. All these stuff helps our channel, so we super appreciate it. And, and until the next road trip. See everybody. Bye.